Hey contractors, looking to grow your business in Indiana? Whether you're working on residential projects or managing large commercial sites, getting licensed is essential for compliance and credibility. I'm Rizal with Contractors Liability and today I'll walk you through the steps to obtain your general contractor's license in Indiana. Stick around because the information in this video could make all the difference for your contracting business and help you avoid costly mistakes down the road. In Indiana, contractor's licensing is a little different compared to other states. There's no statewide requirement for a general contractor's license, but local jurisdictions like Indianapolis, Lake County and South Bend or St. Joseph's County do have specific licensing rules you must follow. Each city or county may have its own unique requirements, such as needing proof of insurance, bonds or even passing an exam. These localized regulations help ensure contractors meet the standards necessary for quality work and community safety. So it's important to understand the rules where you'll be working and stay compliant and avoid penalties. Now, although the requirements differ across local jurisdictions, there are some common elements you'll likely encounter wherever you plan to work in Indiana. Here are the three key requirements to keep in mind. General liability insurance. Most jurisdictions require this to protect you from financial risks like property damage or injury to third parties. It also builds trust with clients. Bonding. A performance bond ensures projects completion, while payment bonds guarantees subcontractors and suppliers that they will get paid, adding credibility to your business. Experience or exams. Some areas like Indianapolis may require passing a trade exam or showing proof of experience to ensure you have the necessary skills. Now, it's important to check with your local licensing officers to understand which specific requirements apply to you. If you need help with licensing, the Indianapolis Department of Business and Neighborhood Services offers guidance from application support to study materials to ensure you've prepared for success. Now, let's look at the licensing requirements in three key areas in Indiana. Number one, Indianapolis, Marion County. If you plan to work in Indianapolis, you'll need to provide proof of general liability insurance and a surety bond. You may also be required to pass competency exams and demonstrate your experience. For more information, check with the Indianapolis Department of Business and Neighborhood Services. Number two, Lake County. In Lake County, you'll submit proof of insurance and bond, along with your application. The county may also require documentation of your work history or qualifications, so make sure you're fully prepared before applying. Number three, South Bend or St. Joseph County. Here, contractors are expected to meet similar standards, proof of insurance, bonding, and sometimes passing an exam. You can find detailed application instruction on the local government websites. Now, here's an insurance certificate you will need. It proves you're covered, protecting both you and your clients, and it helps you secure more projects in Indiana. And that's how you get licensed as a general contractor in Indiana. The key takeaway, always stay informed about the specific local requirements where you plan to work. For more information, visit your local jurisdiction's website. And if this video helped, be sure to like and subscribe and drop any questions in the comment section. Don't forget to check out the full blog in the description for extra resources and detailed steps to guide you through the licensing process. Now, good luck with all your projects and keep building with confidence in Indiana.